Welcome to Chinese Pot. This is Fiona. And this is Quillen. And today we're going to show you newbie learners out there how to get your hair cut done in Mandarin. Yeah, quite an intimidating experience, mm. especially because it's all in Mandarin. But mm. with these tips, we're going to help you get there. And the most important thing, I think the easiest thing for you is probably to point at a picture and say, mm. this is the haircut that I want. So yeah. that's what we're going to show you how to do today. Okay, let's look at the dialogue three times. <laughs> 第一遍第二遍我要剪头发好的想剪多短跟这张照片一样也要染吗不要第三遍我要剪头发好的想剪多短跟这张照片一样也要染吗不要第三遍我要剪头发好的,想剪多短,跟这张照片一样,也要染吗?不要。Alright, now that we've listened to the dialogue, let's move on to the translations. 我要剪头发 I would like a haircut. 我要剪头发 I would like a haircut. 我要剪头发 好的 想剪多短 Okay, how much would you like to cut off? 好的,想剪多短 Okay, how much would you like it shorter? 好的,想剪多短 跟这张照片一样 Like this picture 跟这张照片一样 Like this picture 跟这张照片一样。也要染吗? Would you also like it dyed? 也要染吗? Would you also like your hair dyed? 也要染吗? 不要。No. 不要。I don't want to. All right. Now that we've done the translations, let's start with the discussion for today. And we start with one of the most important phrases, right? Mm. Which is to cut hair. Now, let's start with 剪, 剪. So that is J-I-A-N third tone. That's right. 剪 is anything to do with scissors. As you can see from the actual character, it's got like a, a knife radical in there. So anything that you cut with scissors, you would say 剪, 剪. And in this case, it is head hair. Mm, we're cutting our hair, right? And that is 头发, 头发. Okay, so what does this first character mean? 头 is your head. Okay, so that's second tone, T O U, 头. Mm -hmm. And 发, 发 is hair. But usually, I mean, it is your head hair. You wouldn't refer to your body hair with the same character. Okay, and how about animals? You wouldn't call it fa, right? No, just for humans, right? Human head hair. <laughs> fa, fa. Okay, I've heard some other ways of saying this fa, hair. Mm -hmm. In other contexts, you might see it as fa, fa, fourth tone, but to fa, to fa is kind of a, a lighter, neutral tone. Um, also, there's another alternate pronunciation, which is fa, fa. Okay, and obviously he wants a haircut, so what is I want? Yes, so here he wants, right? He says, I want a haircut. So he says, 我要剪头发. Okay, and she replies, she says, 好的. 好的 is kind of like, all right. So here you see her say, how much would you like cut off? Mm -hmm. Here we see 想, 想. Okay, and what does this, be careful, it's an X-I-A-N-G, third tone. What does this mean? Mm, so, xiang here is would like. So, often people kind of omit the yao. So, actually, the original form here we see in the first sentence is yao, 我要剪头发, I want a haircut. Now, the whole sentence would be 你想要剪多短. Okay, so what you're saying is you can say either 我想要 or mm. 我想. That's correct. But often native speakers, where we abbreviate a lot of things. So here we just say 想剪多短. Now 想, we've talked about is would like. 剪 is to cut. And here we see 
Duan. Duo Duan. Okay, let's start off with this Duan. So this is a D U A N third tone. That's correct. Duan means short. Short, but lengths of things, okay? But this isn't short as in short of stature when you're talking about people's height, is it?、Mm. So here we're talking about lengths of hair, right? So imagine how long is a piece of string. That's when you would use duan, duan. And we have this duo duan. Why do you have this duo? So this duo duo is not a lot, as you might have learned before. It's how to what extent. So to what extent would you like your hair cut? So how short do you want it? So, 想剪多短 So, how short would you like it? How much would you like cut off? Okay, and he's come prepared. He gets out his phone probably,、mm. and he says, "Like this picture, the same."、Mm. So this is a great phrase to memorize, guys. Sometimes you just want to be like, "Just like this picture." So let's start with the word picture, or photo, which is 照片 So this is a z sound. Z h a o fourth tone. P i a n fourth tone. That's correct. 照片 Now with Mandarin nouns at the beginning, you need to have a measure word, right? When you're counting nouns, you need measure words. And in this case, we see the measure word for 照片 photograph is 张张 Okay, so this count word, this measure word, is for things of sheets, right? Yes. So sheets of paper, things you know, like a thin piece of paper, you would use zhang. Now you're wondering. Now photos are digital. Is it the same measure word? Yes, it is.、Mm. As long as it's photos, you use zhang. And in this case, he's pointing at this photo. The word for this is zhe. Zhe. So that's a z h e fourth tone.、Mm, so he's saying this. Photo. Okay, now that we've done the main part of the sentence,、mm-hmm. 这张照片 We're going to look at an interesting sentence structure that will come in very, very useful as you learn more Mandarin. Welcome back to another installment of Chinese Pod Trivia. And the question for you is: For what test does Chinese Pod offer preparation services for? Is it A. The polygraph, B. The colonoscopy, C. The HSK test, or D the CAT scan. Uh, the CAT scan. Ooh, sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C, the HSK test. That's right. Chinese Pod will thoroughly prepare you to pass this rigorous test of proficiency in Chinese. ChinesePod.com forward slash HSK. So I think it's good practice to learn these sentence structures just to really get them in your head. And when you use them correctly, your Mandarin will sound perfectly grammatically correct. It's a great habit to build. So let's talk about this sentence structure. 跟这张照片一样，跟这张照片一样。Okay, so it's a 跟 and then blah, blah, something blah, blah, something blah, blah, 一样 That's correct. So here, 跟 often is translated as with, but let's forget that for today. Okay, it's much more useful to think of this sentence structure as same as. Mm-hmm. Something, something. I want the same haircut as Justin Bieber.、Yeah. <laughs> God this, forbid you ask that. And this yang, what's this mean? This is a yang. Yi yang is the same. So imagine you've kind of taken apart same as and put the same at the back of the sentence and as at the beginning. So as this photo same. Okay.、Um, could you give other examples of this kind of sentence structure? For example,、um, this sentence structure would come in very useful if、um, you're having dinner with your friends、mm-hmm. and someone says, "Well, what do you want?" You can say the same as her, right? 跟她一样，跟她一样 I want the same as her. Okay.、Uh, how about another sentence structure? Sure. So let's just do a slight tweak on this sentence today. So here we've said this photo 跟这张照片一样 Right? Maybe there's a photo on the wall at the hairdressers, right? Right. And you want to say, I want the same haircut as that picture, right?、Mm-hmm. So you can say, 跟那张照片一样 Awesome. So I recommend you just practice saying these in the expansion exercise. Practice the ones we've written down for you.、Mm-hmm. And the most important thing is this sentence: 跟这张照片一样跟这张照片一样 You can just bring your phone to the hairdressers. Read out this line, Bob's your uncle. 
Okay, and the stylist, she asks him, would you like to have your hair dyed? Mm, so she says, 也要染吗? 也要染吗? 也 is also, and 要, we've talked about before, is to, to want, want, right? So 也要染, 染. Okay, so R-A-N, third tone. Could you mm -hmm. say it one more time? Sure. 染. Jan. And this just means to dye, right? Yeah, so this is to dye or to color your hair. So here we see at the end of the sentence, ma, ma. Okay, so this is a yes no question particle. Mm -hmm. Just stick it at the end of any sentence to make a question. Exactly. So this is like the question mark of Mandarin, right? We just verbalize it. Um, and if, especially if the answer is a yes no question. So, ye yao ran ma. Would you also like it colored? And here it's a no, right, to this yes-no question. So she says, 不要, 不要. Yeah, there's no particular translation for no. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have this ma uh, structure, mm -hmm. you just repeat the verb and either say you want it or you don't want it. Mm. So in this case, 不要. Great tip there, Guilherme. So here we see 也要染吗? Also want died question. And you say 不要. 不要. So that's do not want, right? No. So that's a great tip from Gulam. Repeat the verb that you hear in the question. So, 也要染吗? 不要. That's right. All right, now that we've come to the end of this dialogue, let's do a quick recap. So, to want is... 要. 要. So at the beginning of the conversation, we see... 我要剪头发. I want to get my hair cut. Okay, and she asks him, how much would you like it shorter? Mm, how much shorter would you like or how much would you like cut off? 好的,想剪多短,想剪多短 Okay, how do you say this photograph? 嗯,这张照片,这张照片 And we come to the most important sentence of today's lesson, which is 跟这张照片一样跟这张照片一样 Okay, so she asks, do you want it dyed? What's the word for dye? 染,染 也要染吗? Also want it colored? And he says, 不要. 不要, 不要. All right, guys, now that we've done the discussion, let's listen to the dialogue three more times. Okay. 对话,第一遍。我要剪头发。好的,想剪多短。跟这张照片一样。也要染吗? 不要。第二遍。我要剪头发。好的,想剪多短。跟这张照片一样。也要染吗?不要。第三遍。我要剪头发。好的,想剪多短。跟这张照片一样。也要染吗?不要。So I think it's really important that you learn this phrase the same as this picture because um, especially when you can't communicate in the same language it's so important to like properly get across what haircut you want because I for sure have had like bad experiences when I haven't been very specific because there's different trends of beauty right so mm -hmm. I, I would consider myself more European in my appearance so when I go um, to the hairdressers they always want to make me like really cutesy and I'm like no no you always come out of a perm <laughs> <laughs> and Gwilym, do you often go to the hairdressers? Well, back in the UK, I would try and avoid it as much as possible. But since coming here, it's kind of a luxury experience. You get <laughs> massage, you get nice coffee. Yeah. Like, they massage your shoulders, your upper chest. It gets really, <laughs> I don't know. really personal. I don't know what kind of hairdressers you're going to that you get upper chest massages. But yeah, guys, don't let um, how much Mandarin you speak kind of hold you back from going to the hairdressers. Mm. These kind of uh, little experiences will help push you, help make your Mandarin better. So... Go forth, bravely go to the Chinese hairdressers. Yeah, when I first came, these were perhaps the only few occasions when I really got to practice Mandarin by myself and mm. use it in an actual useful situation. Yeah, exactly. Hairdressers love to um, have a nice conversation with you. So go for it, practice your Mandarin and good luck, guys. We hope you enjoyed today's lesson and we'll see you guys again very soon. 再见. 再见. 
As usual, ChinesePod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number 2630. So just go to www.chinesepod.com slash 2630 and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again, www.chinesepod.com slash 2630.